Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Nick. I want to get right down to brass tacks here. It's been a long time since I've posted any type of updates and all that stuff. And I had a couple people wondering what I've been working on and all that good stuff. Let me touch on WIA. That was approximately a month ago in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, it stands for Woodworking in America, and a bunch of us content creators had gotten together and rented a booth. For all of you that stopped by the booth to get to meet and greet and basically talk shop, thank you so much for stopping out. I got to meet just tons and tons of really, really cool people, and it was just a, a really, it was a blast overall. Like I said, it was held in Kansas City, and it ran, uh, for the marketplace anyways, ran for two days, uh, the Friday and Saturday. And uh, this was like the first time we were able to get this many creators together under the videowoodworkers.com kind of uh, umbrella to just kind of, like I said, get a chance to meet and greet not only the viewers, but also uh, the creators to get to meet themselves. Meet themselves? Well, it's not like we had a mirror set up, but you get what I'm saying. We get to meet each other. And it was just an absolute blast. It was at the... Uh, the Sheridan uh, Crown Center kind of area, Sheridan Hotel, and it was just an absolutely gorgeous hotel. And I was just blown away. Uh, the whole city, I mean, from the food to some of the attractions, it was just a beautiful city. I've never been there before. And that was, like I said, an absolute blast to go walk around some of the other booths and check things out. And uh, like I said, just kind of, uh, it was kind of a vacation, so to speak. And since I've actually been married since our, our technical honeymoon. We haven't had a vacation. So that was cool. My wife had, had come along and uh, brought our kids because they had Legoland there in Kansas City. Not the big Legoland like I think there is in San Diego, California, but uh, a big enough one to where you know my kids were super pleased. And in that same building, they had this aquarium where they had all sorts of fish and just cool things to see. We don't have a, an aquarium, so to speak, where I live. And um, that was definitely a cool thing to see. My kids actually really loved it a lot. My youngest is a huge uh, fan of animals and whatnot. So, And then on this particular tank, I wanted to ask you guys. This was, I'm, I'm guessing, polycarbonate. But it was almost like a, a third of a sphere. It was bulbous. It, it kind of jutted out into the room. And it was just one of the cooler uh, things. Of course, I look at it from like a making perspective. But does anyone know how they actually make this? And, and if it's a, a flat sheet, is it molded like that? I'm, I'm just curious. If anybody's in that industry, I would really like to know. Um, the thing was probably close to, close to a five-foot diameter. So, I mean, it was a rather large um, you know, piece of what I'm guessing to be polycarbonate. So that was actually one of the highlights. And then I got to hang out with my buddy Tim and uh, goof around like I pretty much always do. So that, like I said, was an absolute blast. Kansas City was just, um, just awesome. And like I said, uh, meeting everybody. Oh man, I just, I had a blast. It was a go, go, go thing. And I don't even think uh, I really got to sit for very often. But it went by too quick. That's that's the problem. But another thing too, uh, we are planning another um, woodworking show. We don't have it solidified as far as where or when. But if you want to uh, go over to videowoodworkers.com, that's where all that information is going to be, um, you know, put out there and released to the public as soon as we can. I mean, we have a couple shows that we're looking at that are in April already, so that's about five months away. Nothing solid yet, though, so um, definitely check that out in case you want more information. And another thing about the uh, the going to WIA, I uh, I came up with the the. Uh, the brochure, the handout, it was kind of a goofy size, um, but it was really cool. It had all the participants, their headshots and bios in it. And I actually was really uh, fortunate. Um, I got these printed locally and uh, I got to actually go down to the printers to where they were doing the offset printing. And they actually let me watch them being printed, manufactured. And I thought that was extremely neat. Um, they do make, um, you know, all sorts of print materials. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out their website. They do ship nationwide. Uh, I, I know a lot of their business, they do local, but uh, I thought that was really cool. And it was actually a super um, good time dealing with them. They, it, it, I don't know, just, it was really awesome. I haven't seen an offset printer um, since high school. We had one in high school. And the one, the one guy that was showing me around, they even had an old Heidelberg press 
which I haven't seen one of those as well since high school. And I actually never got to use the Heidelberg in high school, but I'm just one of those guys to where anytime there's a way for me to just fill my brain up with more information, that's just the type of person I am. Uh, and I'm guessing that kind of, you know, goes along with the whole woodworker and liking to build things and just having technical information. So anyways, that was definitely a blast. And they also did the stickers for the Video Woodworkers booth. And if you stop by, you grabbed one of these inaugural event stickers. And uh, they printed those as well. And with one of their newer printers, so it came on a roll. And I think there was like a thousand of these stickers. So I had to cut them all apart. And we'll, we'll just say that made for an interesting setup in my hotel room the night before the show that I had to actually go ahead and cut all those individual stickers apart. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I mean, I was working right up to the last minute. Um, just checking my notes here, because I had a lot to go over. Um, also, while I was at the show, and I'm just gonna grab some stuff here, uh, I stopped by the Epilogue Laser Booth, and that was really cool. They did a uh, videowoodworkers.com logo, and they lasered that on one of their lasers they had on display. And I just thought that was really neat to see. Um, I've never owned a laser before. It's definitely something um, that I'll be looking into in the future. It's definitely a, um, something I think I could utilize. Even more so than like even a CNC machine. But I don't know. I guess it all depends on the functions and features. But YouTube's very own Laney Shaughnessy and his booth, Digital Woodcarver, they were nice enough to CNC out a uh, videowoodworkers.com logo, which I thought was really cool too, and uh, to watch that being done. And uh, that was just really nice of him, and uh, his, uh, the owner of the company, and I hope I don't get his name wrong, but uh, Burl. So he's into woodworking, and his name's Burl. I mean, you can't get much of a better name to be into woodworking, right? So that was really cool. Thanks again, Laney, for, uh, for doing that. That was really neat. And uh, let me see here. I'm looking at uh, some of my other stuff. Um, oh yeah, the, um, I posted uh, a Periscope, and if you guys haven't been following me on Periscope or my Instagram or anything like that, I'll make sure all those links are in the description below, but it's been kind of neat, but, um, Buckeye Engraving had sent me a stamp, it's a hand stamp, and it's actually got my signature in it, and it's just really neat, and this is uh, one of the ways now I'm going to brand my work. And it's uh, a percussive stamp, I meaning you hit it with a hammer. Uh, you don't heat it up. I, I would imagine you could, um, but I, you know, that would kind of ruin the the, uh, the hardening of the uh, tool steel. But that was just really cool. And for, I showed this. I think it was on either Instagram or Periscope, and I had must have been everybody that saw it asked, "How the heck is that your signature? It looks like a fancy kind of script A." Well, uh, that's my signature, and so here. You get the N for Nick, and here you get the F for Fairy, and then essentially, uh, I, years ago, I just pushed them together, and that was essentially my my signature. My signature and also my initials. It all depends. If, if the workpiece is small, uh, a lot of times I would sign it out uh, just with that, you know, what people thought was an N. Uh, sometimes, you know, like a letter, I'll sign it out. Nick Ferry, just so they don't think there's an A at the bottom and think we're now writing letters differently in this world. <laughs> and another thing, it was really nice of FastCap to send me their action camera, what they're calling their fast cam. And from this shot, you can actually see it's just a different angle. And it's, and it's similar to any other action camera that you can get on the market, but I was actually kind of impressed by it because it came with all the accessories. It came with all the mounts, an extra battery, the battery charger, uh, a selfie stick, and all that good stuff. And so thank you to FastCap for sending that. And that'll allow me, I was doing um, some experimenting with uh, putting one of these cameras inside my table saw for a couple different types of cuts. And I've been getting pretty good results with that. And this is the first edited video that I'm trying it out. And so I just figured I would throw it off angle and, and kind of see it. Uh, it. It's a wider perspective. It's a wider field of view, which means I'm going to have to clean my shop one of these days because you're seeing, you know, a lot of that. But um, so, yeah, look forward to that. And it was, um, like I said, it's real similar to the other action cameras to where, um, you know, there's a waterproof housing. The camera's not in here because it's, well, it's right there. But uh, 
I did this just today on Periscope. Uh, I went to Harbor Freight and got this really cheap um, two suction cup kind of handle and basically just drilled a hole in it and put a quarter 20 um, bolt through it and then I have the, uh, I can either mount it with the waterproof housing on or off. And that was just a real quick uh, mount for a suction cup and I'm going to be using this on my vehicle in case I ever go to get lumber. I want to include a shot of uh, it being stuck to the car. My wife kind of said no to me bolting on a, a camera to the car. She, I tell you, a lot of times she's just kind of a buzzkill. But I love her regardless. <laughs> Anyways, can you imagine that? Can you imagine if I would have drilled a hole in my wife's halfway newer car and be like, I did it in the name of YouTube. Yeah. That would have not gone over very well at all. So I appreciate uh, FastCap for sending that out. That was really cool. And then uh, lastly, I had my very first video here on YouTube go over 100,000 views. And I was literally in shock. I'm just blown away. Uh, and that was my table saw sled video. And uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet for whatever reason, definitely check it out. It seemed like the overall consensus was that people really enjoyed it. And uh, it's just, it's just humbling that people, that many people shared it and that many people posted about it and commented and liked it. And um, I don't know, just blown away. I was just, you know, and I picked up quite a few subscribers off of that. So if you're one of those newer subscribers after seeing that video, I welcome you aboard. I don't try to do the talky talky update videos all the time, but I was talking to another gentleman online and uh, I was talking about how this is fun for me. This isn't my full-time job. If it were to become my full-time job someday, that would be awesome, but it would still have to be fun for me. I have a crappy job now. I don't need a second crappy job. So this has to be fun for me, and I've had a lot of people asking where I was, so the talky talky is what you get. But if you are a newer subscriber um, and you haven't seen some of my older videos, definitely check through some of my playlists and whatnot. Um, the theater cart, that, that one was a really cool video. That one a lot of people seem to really like. Um, I get a lot of use out of it. I actually would like to sell it and mailed a second version, a newer version where I have some more ideas I want to integrate. But definitely if you haven't checked that video out, uh, and feel free to check out you know the other ones and let me know what you think about some of my older stuff. That's about all I have. I, uh, I, you know, this probably ran a little bit longer than normal, but like I said, it's been a while since I've uh, seen you guys. So this way, um, one of the things, I haven't been in my shop, and I almost forgot to tell you guys this. I haven't been in my shop working uh, for the last few weeks. I, I ended up breaking my hand. And uh, I thought it was a bruise at first, and then my wife was of the wiser half and said, go get it x-rayed. And yes, it turns out it's broke. And uh, they wanted to cast it and splint it. And I'm like, no, I'll just, I'll just try not to use it that much. Um, but yeah, it's, it's healing up nice. It's still pretty, pretty darn sore. But uh, a couple more weeks and I, and I should be out of the woods with that. And then I'm hoping to finish up that uh, cabinet that I've been working on for the TV. So that would be um, a blast. You know, because I, I want to see that project done. I'm pretty excited about that one. And uh, really excited about a Christmas project coming up. And I'm starting to put it all together in my head, so to speak. Either way, I'll leave you with that. Uh, I'm definitely thanks for stopping by. If you've got any questions, comments, leave those down below. It's always cool to see you guys and hear from you uh, in the comments section. So until I see you guys next time, you guys, take care.